Wellness Friday with Blessing Abraham. Hello everyone. How have you been? Okay, so welcome to another beautiful session of mental health, wellness and therapy talks with me, Blessing Abraham. How has your week been? Tell me in the comment section. I want to know. And um, for everyone that is going to see this channel for the first time, I want to say welcome. And I also want to say, please subscribe and please like, please share, please post your comments and for returning subscribers thank you so much for sticking with me and for you know just encouraging me to do more and put more videos out there so today's session is actually pretty laid back i'm going to be talking about stress we're going to be talking about the stressors we're going to be talking about what to do about stress and how to handle stress so i'm going to be talking from my own personal perspective and don't forget don't forget all my disclaimers because I am always talking from my own personal experience. I'm also always digging from what I have done, what I go through and you know, what you know, works for me. So basically, now let's jump right into stress. Whew. Everyone is going through stress, whether from family, whether from work, and even from the pandemic. And we all know that stress could hamper and affect our immune health. It could even affect our overall wellness. So that's why I decided to talk about it for today's Wellness Friday. And you know, just share what um, I went through and what I have been using. Okay, so guys, I am being completely bare here. I have dealt with anxiety for a while and stress is one of my triggers for anxiety you know basically because I am a mom I am trying to you know take care of my boys and I'm also trying to you know earn a living and at the same time I'm also studying so basically I have so many things going on in my life and also I just started a brand new business so you know you can imagine the level the level of stress I'm going through so basically I had to you know like they say if you are having a mental health breakdown or episode it's very good for you to journal so that that way you know that oh this actually triggered it or this actually caused me to have this meltdown or this actually you know made me feel this kind of way so sometimes it's good to journal and through journaling i was able to realize that stress is one of the things that made me have like serious serious anxiety so basically i decided to uh take a few steps to work around this and um first of all what i did was you know i went back to working out i have always been pretty active but you know life happens things happen you know you get busy and then that's like you put at the back seat or back burner and you don't pay attention to it. So first of all, I had to resuscitate my working out habits. And the second thing I did was to also do some um, food changes, you know, because you, when you're tired, when you're stressed, you eat as you like. Uh, you probably just resort to just eating or just, you know, eating at when, you know, the times that is convenient for you and, you know, things like that. And I had to just do some changes and there there are three things i'm actually that i have right here that i'm actually going to show you that also really 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 worked for me and um before i get into it i want to say that if you are listening to me for the first time thank you for coming across this channel it's a pretty new channel and all we talk about is topics related to all we talk about are topics related to mental health, topics related to wellness, and topics related to therapy. So basically, we just want to educate ourselves, continue to spread awareness about it, and continue to do uh, the things that we really need to do to take care of ourselves, you know, put ourselves first and, you know, um, just make sure we are striving to the we're striving to be the best version of ourselves every day okay so 
um i don't have uh, my epsom salt here but i'm going to try to write it in the video so that way you know so first of all when i know that i am really stressed i take a bath i take a hot shower i'm sure everyone does that and i put some epsom salt in it so that way it um relieves every pain every body pain every ache that i'm feeling um then after that i also make sure that i spend at least 30 minutes you know so when i do these things i do it when i know that i have that luxury of time so i spend about 30 minutes you know soaking myself in the shower and just getting the stress out another thing i do is i give myself a good massage you know right now you know no massage places are open so basically you still have to pamper yourself somehow so i give myself a good massage i try to massage myself from my head to my toes of course not like a hundred percent like a masseuse or massage therapist will do it but i try as much as possible to do my best to do that for myself okay so after i do that then i of course i do that at night i do that at night before i go to bed because i strongly believe that your body heals more when you're asleep so whatever you have to do to your body and for the beauticians and the makeup artists you know they like to you know encourage us to do the things we have to do for our faces at night so the same applies to your body so that way when you wake up you wake up refreshed and restored okay so then i have something i use before i sleep and i'm going to show you it is called chamomile tea with lavender okay so it is organic as we can see it is herbal i love it and it is non see non-gmo so basically this is what it looks like this is what it looks like so i take that at night and oh my god it's so soothing it tastes so beautiful lavender is so good um then you know chamomile too is super 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 healthy so like i said i take this at night and when i wake up i wake up energized i wake up feeling almost brand new which really works for me another tea i take i'm gonna show you guys is i'm 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 like a collector of teas so this is another one i take it's called yogi um stress relief it's also non-gmo see that and it's organic and this is what it looks like this is what it looks like so i take this as well at night sometimes you could take it in the morning as well you know to start your day to kick start your day depending on how you want to take it you take it and you know you just make sure that you okay so basically uh that is for the teas i take then there's another thing i take actually you know when i have luxury of time i make my own but when i don't have luxury of time i you know i get this so it is uh uh how will i say a blueberry protein there are different shakes you know different smoothies they have the smoothies they have the shakes um so this is the blueberry protein. I love blueberries. I include blueberries in every of my smoothie because of uh, the importance of blueberries. They are really good for um, as antioxidants and you know, so they are also very nutritious and they're very yummy. So I love them. So um, I try as much as possible to incorporate a lot of healthy smoothies, you know, the very low sugar, you know smoothies a lot of veggies and you know i try to get as much protein you know into my food so basically you know i just try as much as possible to make sure that whatever i put in you know also helps me to recover it's not so much as what you put outside but also what is important is what you put in then another thing i do is i try to take enough rest i haven't i would be very honest with you this week has been one of the very hectic weeks for me so i haven't even had like that good enough sleep that i would actually want but um like i said i'm talking to myself as well so please you know let's try as much as possible to 
recognize like let's just recognize this stressors and let's address them so that they don't pile up to be something that would affect us mentally and probably cause us to have like a breakdown and um, you know affect our health you know somehow because we are all going through a lot already so please let's try as much as possible to take precautions take care of ourselves and just you know do the best we all are doing a good job so thumbs up i see a lot of people working out i see a lot of people the feed fam and everything is so good then yes i forgot another thing i do is music i love listening to music so sometimes i just put the you know the kids in their play you know area and i try to soak in some music i might not even sing along it might just make me fall asleep for an hour or so but it's soothing you know so let me know what other things you do for you know for this period even not even this period because like i always encourage i encourage you to start a lifestyle with whatever you want to do if you're going to be a team fit fam make it a lifestyle if you're going to tweak or change your diet make sure it is a lifestyle it's easier to maintain than when it is just a one-off thing so we are not just going to we're not talking about this for just the pandemic or just the the period we're going through we're also talking about it for after the pandemic you know five years after so that's that's my focus my focus is something that we could do and could be consistent and you know become that habit and lifestyle that we incorporate into everything so um please like i said earlier please like please share please put your comments down for any other thing you know that can benefit someone else that would watch this video to relieve themselves of whatever stress that they've been going through i personally would also want to know because i love to learn i love to see what other people do and you know i just pick and choose what works for me so like i said this works for me the yogi scava stress relief then the organic chamomile with lavender tea they are all teas you know they are all teas and you know incorporating more fruits and veggies and protein into my food so um i'm sure a lot of people do other things so please i would love 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 to know and um i hope we all have a beautiful weekend i hope we all continue continue to keep safe and i hope we all continue to stay healthy that is priority right now all these things as well they all boost immune system because once you're going through a very very stressful period or circumstance or whatever stress you're going through it depletes your immune system so these are also ways we can you know boost it up and you know bring it back to life so uh i think um i have covered you know what i do personally what works for me and what i'll continue to do and um, please like i said earlier if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe please share and please like i would actually love 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 to hear what you have to say about what you do okay guys enjoy the rest of your week Yo, your weekend because it's friday thank god it's friday right i hope you're going to do something beautiful for yourself regardless of the situation or circumstance and i will see you same time next week have a good weekend bye